what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel i'm jason with jcs reefing and in this one we are going to run through how to create a scene in the ecotech marine new mobius app now right off the bat when you open up the mobius app it's going to take you to the um the home screen which is going to be your tank um, once you connect all your devices it will give you some preloaded uh, scenes um, but to add it you just basically hit the edit and then at the top right corner you want to hit the plus sign now for this one we're just going to create a simple feed mode um, of course you can do custom which we'll do one of those after but for this let's just start off with the feed mode as you can see, you can change the name, the icon, and the duration. So for the duration, I'm just going to put in how long I want, whatever I tell the tank to do um, for five minutes. So once you put that in here, you can scroll down and you can see that you have a light schedule. You can configure this if you want to. And if you don't want your lights to change, then at the bottom, you will see these tabs. If you unclick these tabs, then nothing will be configured. Basically, it'll just keep going with your schedule that you have programmed. As you can see here, now the lights say not configured because I don't want my lights to change. If you wanted your lights to change or in this mode, you wanted to dose more at a certain time a day, or if you had food hooked up to a doser, you could have it dose that food. As far as the pumps go, you can have your pumps go through any of the various preset modes that Ecotech has, such as Reef Crest, Lagoon, Gyre, Pulse, Nutrient Transport, um, so on and so forth. For my tank, all I want to do is put the pumps in a constant speed at a very low um, setting. Once that's done, you pretty much have just made your feed mode telling the pumps what you want it to do. I also run a Vectra M1, so going through that, you can also go in here and put your return pump to not shut off completely during feed mode, but actually just cut back, which also helps with wear and tear on your pump so it doesn't cut off the power completely. It just simply ramps down the speed and the food stays in the tank for everything to, um, to take it in, and then it doesn't go all down the overflow. Now to start feed mode is pretty easy. Just click the button and it starts feed mode. There's also another way to do this is you can actually push and hold in the top right. You can actually see right here, it says feed mode. So you actually don't have to go into the app completely. You can simply push and hold with a hard touch and you can hit feed mode. Now for the next one, we're gonna create a scene for when you wanna maybe take um, pictures of your tank or video of your tank um, and this one actually comes in probably really the most handy since they've had this so for me I'm just gonna label this one um, photography because I'm gonna use this scene that anytime I want to take pictures of my tank I can simply just hit that button and it'll put the tank and the lights and the pumps to whatever setting that I want it to do now for the duration of mine, I'm gonna simply just put 30 minutes. Yours may be different and you can do it for as long as you wish. And um, that will change the length of obviously until your tank returns back to its normal schedule. Now for photography lights, a lot of people, as you may know, the blue light is very hard for um, cameras or phones to filter out. So for me, I'm just gonna simply put in a quick setting that I kind of use, um, and it's probably not exact, but I'm just kind of giving you an idea of how it works. Um, for myself, I just ramp down the um, intensity a little bit, and I adjust some of the levels. Once you're done adjusting the tank to where it looks good to take a video, then you can simply opt out. For the next setting that I just did, that was simply just my uh, Versa pump. I don't want it to dose anything. I just want it to do its normal schedule. For my pumps, I'm gonna put the pumps in reef crest mode, but at a lower setting, so not everything is getting blown around and I can get really good shots of the tank. For my pump, 
my Vectra M1, I'm simply going to leave that on schedule at max, which is what I run my tank at. Now, like I said before, you can also use the tabs at the bottom and unclick each tab if you want your devices to simply do what it's assigned to do on your everyday schedule. Now, once you're done creating that, you can simply come in here, hit the photography mode, and you can see that the lights on the tank will actually change to a um, spectrum that is a little easier to photograph. And that is all there is to it. That's how you make scenes in an Ecotech Mobius app. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and happy reefing. Cheers.